here. I am going to show you some um, watercoloring using the craft tangles um, liquid watercolors using some flowers but on a different paper not on a watercolor paper I don't know if you can see the gloss here or not this is a photo paper the photo printing paper actually where you print your photographs so this is from Canon actually I just have two packs in my home I was just keeping it like I could work with uh, instead of you post you I don't know if you can see but it is very glossy so I'm going to just use this paper for watercoloring and I've used the tulip stamp from craft angles for this all I'm going to do is using distress inks I'm just going to okay it has left some color there but that's okay so I'm using some distress inks for the flowers I'm using orange and for the stalks and leaves I'll just use the twisted citron, the green one. I don't think it's in the frame, but the inking. So this is actually now you can see is the first print is here and all I'm going to do is yeah shades so uh, I'm going to use lemon tart autumn blaze soulmate and lime green these are the shades I'm going to use so starting very first I'm going to start with some lemon tart and you will see how quick this thing works actually that's it okay so the first color is done second one is autumn blaze that's it I just left some water and let the color spread on their own. Okay, now I'm going with the Soulmate. This is just a little bit darker shade of. Orange. But it doesn't show much when you actually put it on paper as you can't see much difference a bit more Okay, 
Okay, that's it. I just don't know why I uh, I want to try this color a little bit. I might ruin the thing here, but it's okay. I want to take that chance. And this is a uh, ripe plum. Okay, finally I'm done with the flowers. And now for the leaf and the stalks using lime green and I might use this other one that's evergreen. So very quick. Okay, so I was saying that I will show you the paper later, which I did experiment yesterday night. Sorry, very focused, that's why I'm talking very little. I just want to have all my attention here on my coloring. This is it. I am not sure if I want to add this, but let's see. Oh yeah, it does look nice. So just running around, I don't know, directionless actually. A little bit here. Okay, I'm going to stop. Don't want to touch this. Let's leave it aside. I'll show you what I did yesterday. This was the card which I... This was um, the uh, photo paper which I tried yesterday. I don't know how much of glossing can you see but this is a photo paper and the colors have become permanent actually. What I did was I just was experimenting so I really didn't go for any pattern I just wanted to see how the colors actually dry out or how the colors look and unlike Upo paper you can't go and do the um, lift off technique because the colors are permanent so there is no way you can lift this ink off. Once uh, you, the concept is same once you print the picture how permanent your photo is is the same thing it's very permanent thing so um, this I don't know what I will do but anyway it was worth the experiment and after a while what happened was I just left the inks like this I came back 
to the room and all the excess water was just floating so the water the ink absorbed but the water was plain on top so all I did was just flip flick the water off I don't know if I can show you here or not it is still ink is still there or we can do one thing actually I'm not very sure oh okay as you can see the ink is already settled in so even when I put the tissue nothing much is happening there see that very little ink so and it doesn't spread blot or bleed nothing happens see that this these flowers are already so dry the ink is completely soaked in that actually there's nothing on the tissue nothing 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 so that's the water coloring on the photo paper and it is so good actually I am not sure how much oh yeah you can see the gloss how the camera has captured or not but I can see you can see the gloss and so it's I believe it's cheaper than the Upo paper so you do want to give it a try and let me know what you think of this I wanted to try actually so I thought okay I tried it let me share with the crafting